Every NFL draft is defined by the quarterback position, good and bad. But this year's version promises a special kind of QB-centric chaos. For the first time since 1999, we could see five signal callers come off the board in the first round. And the best part? The first 25 minutes of the draft should be pure mayhem, because no one seems to have any clue who's going to come off the board first. Each of this year's probable first round QBs has at least one distinct and elite talent. Do you want the guy with the rocket arm, the pinpoint accuracy, or the, um, bad face? Here are QB superlatives for the 2018 NFL Draft. Most polished, Josh Rosen. The UCLA product is a child tennis prodigy, and I mean that as a good thing. Forget about the overbearing Richard Williams-style parent forcing his child to practice 300 serves before he gets his dinner. Instead, picture a kid whose drive, focus, and innate understanding of physics allowed him to master the form necessary to serve a ball 105 miles an hour as a 12-year-old. Rosen has since taken all the lessons he learned from a childhood immersed in the tennis circuit and applied them to the game of football, because no other prospect looks smoother or more polished than the former UCLA star. His effortless release and pure spiral almost remind you of a Manning brother. Rosen struggles to throw on the move and isn't the most mobile guy, but when he throws on time, he looks like the best passer in his class. Biggest arm, Josh Allen. This one isn't close. Josh Allen might have the most arm strength of any draft prospect in years, Put more simply, Uncle Rico over here can throw the ball over them there mountains. How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over them mountains? At the Combine, he set a record with a 62 mile an hour throw and was consistently lofting 70 yard bombs during passing throws. Cannon for an arm? Check. But accuracy? Well, in a lot of ways, Allen is like Jay Cutler. When the ball leaves his hand, it moves fast, but it's often anybody's guess as to where it'll end up. Allen might be able to outthrow any QB currently in the league, but if the Wyoming product wants to be successful pro, they'll need to be way more accurate than the 56% completion percentage he put up in college. Most accurate, Baker Mayfield. One NFL GM recently called Baker Mayfield that six-foot jerk, but I'd like to believe the former Heisman Trophy winner takes that as a compliment. Mayfield's a fiery competitor, and he's never been afraid to talk a little trash. More importantly, he always seems to back it up on the field. Sure, he's a little shorter than ideal, but Mayfield's ability to thread the needle downfield should trump any concerns over his lack of height. He finished with an 80.6% adjusted completion percentage in college, tops among draft-eligible quarterbacks, and he also led his class by completing 60.3% of his deep throws. Everybody wants to lump Mayfield in with Johnny Manziel because of his size and on-field demeanor, but the better comparison is Seattle Super Bowl winning mini Mike Russell Wilson. Stand up on my tippy toes, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Most dynamic, Lamar Jackson. Let's just get this out of the way first. Jackson is a quarterback, but not a wide receiver. That's all I've been all my life. He can throw deep, he can go through his reads, and he can make plays from the pocket. But there's a reason the Louisville product is drawing comparisons to Michael Vick. He has a game-breaking blend of speed and elusiveness, whether he's scrambling or following a designed run play. The former Heisman winner needs to iron out his accuracy and he may need to tweak his mechanics to throw from a wider, more balanced base. But if Jackson puts it all together, no quarterback in this class has a higher ceiling. The ceiling is the roof. Most complete, Sam Darnold. One anonymous scout recently dinged Darnold for, and I quote, having a bad face. So apart from whatever that means, the former USC stars got everything you want from the quarterback position. Prototypical size, a strong arm, accuracy at every level, and the mobility to escape the pocket, throw on the run, and hit his target downfield. Darnold has to clean up his mechanics a bit and refine his decision making after throwing 13 interceptions last season. But there's a good reason he's been compared to premier signal callers like Philip Rivers and Andrew Luck. Never mind his face, he's got all the physical traits to become a superstar. 